Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Shauna from Created and Made, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make this super simple, yet super impactful image transfer. I'm gonna show you how I pulled the image, and I'm gonna show you how I colored it. So, fun stuff ahead, stay tuned. Okay, so this is the image I started off with. I got this image from Unsplash. Now what I'm showing you here is that the image on the right side has been edited a little bit more than the image on the left. What I did was I took this image from Unsplash and if you go there and download it, you'll see it starts out looking a lot different from this. I took the image from Unsplash and I edited it it in Canva Pro and I just upped the contrast to 100% and made it a black and white image. So that's how I ended up with what you have there. Now this is an important step because you need a very high contrast image to get a great image transfer. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm spread out this um, Payne's Gray from Arteza into a really thin layer, also an, an important step. And then you'll see that as the layer starts to thin right there, that you, it'll start to um, get a little bit more translucent on the plate. Important steps. Now, <clears throat> you can use Canva Pro if you have it. I don't know if the free edition allows you to do photo editing like this, or you can just download this onto your phone and you can edit it directly in your um, your phone's native editing software. You can do that too. All you want to keep in mind is that it needs to be high contrast. Um, and it's helpful for it to be um, black and white, but high contrast is most important. So you see that? I got a thin layer of paint and look how clean and crisp that transfer was. Now, I am no image transfer <laughs> expert. Most of my image transfers are pretty terrible, but the combination of the high contrast print and the, the really thin layer of paint helped and worked in my favor here so what i have now is my set of pan pastels and i'm just going to do some coloring on, directly onto the plate with the pan pastels these pan pastels come with or maybe i ordered i'm not sure their own sort of tools to use and then though i went in with this teeny tiny little brush that is not a pan pastel item it is I think it's for eyelash glue. I'm not sure. <laughs> I've never used it for eyelashes. Um, I've only used it for art. But I'll drop a link to it in the description if you're interested. It's um, a super tiny little brush. So I'm going in now with a bigger tool so I can color the, um, the photos, the shirt in the photo. And it's very useful to use the pan pastel tools with pan pastels. Um, they're formulated to work with them and they work very well. But what you're going to see me do next is I I saw a color in my eyeshadow palette that I really wanted to put in the background. So I just switched to eyeshadow. I mean, it's not pan pastel. It's not fine art, you know, equipment or fine art supply at all. <laughs> Obviously, it's eyeshadow. But you can apply it with a cosmetic sponge and it'll pull. The color will pull the same way eyeshadow is a little more translucent than pan pastel but that was fine for the project i was working on here so i'm just filling my background with this greenish um sort of greenish gold color and then i'm going to go ahead and pull the print now this was just white acrylic paint that i'm going to put on with a palette knife i don't know you don't need a palette knife you can apply it directly out of the bottle but the key thing here is again a thin layer you should be able to see the print so you see the outline of the face there that's how you know you you have your layers nice and thin you begin to see what you're going to be pulling so i i use I'm using my cardstock and i gave it a good burnish and there you have it see how easy that was not only do i have a beautifully transferred image it's also colored now what i decided when i pulled it was that i wanted a little bit more color and this is another tip for you you can colorize these before you can colorize them after you can or you can do both like i did and i'm just going in with my cosmetic sponge and then like um 
sort of a orangey color here I guess she's a redhead and I'm coloring it in after the fact and so once I got to there I I, I stopped because I thought that uh, that was enough color for this young lady but I did go in with my um, mixed media pen and I did an outline and I did some scribbling on the side of her face there as you can see and that's all there is to it guys <laughs> the cardstock I used did have a subtle print in it but that's it and you see how easy that was you see how straightforward it was and i hope you guys like this i hope that you try it i'll drop all the links to everything in the description and if you did like it please go ahead and leave a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button i hope to see you guys next time and in the meantime keep creating and making bye bye